Kim Jong-un's men walking towards their enemy across the most dangerous border in the world to a remarkable moment, a handshake with South Korean officials and with history. A meeting unthinkable weeks ago, hours of talks and at the end, agreement. North Korea will send a large team to next month's Olympics in South Korea. The two sides have re-established a second hotline for the military. And amid missile launches and nuclear tests, they've agreed military talks to reduce tension. Proof, says an advisor to South Korea's leader, that President Trump's tough talk works. President Trump is absolutely right. American pressure yielded some positive outcome. The talks beyond this checkpoint may have started successfully, but they've a long way to go from figure skating to tough talk about nuclear missiles or anything else. South Korea today called on the North to get rid of its nuclear weapons. Kim Jong-un's man didn't respond, but later said its nuclear weapons are aimed at the US, not at South Korea. Kim says a former South Korean foreign minister is trying to split America from its ally. We should never trust him, but that doesn't mean that we don't deal with him. So today's breakthrough is real, but it's limited because the big test is what happens to these talks after the Olympics. And as North Korean officials have made clear to me over the past two years, they will not negotiate away their nuclear program. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.